everyone, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. This is going to be a review of a new formula from Bite Beauty. It is called their Outburst Longwear Lip Stains. They recently launched like during the Sephora VIB sale, which is when I got my hands on these. And there are only three shades in this collection. It's a pretty limited line. I don't know if they're going to expand it, but wanted to review the three shades they have. So I'm not only going to be swatching these and reviewing them, but I also hunted around my formula for some shade dupes as well, which will be closer towards the end of the video. If that's all you're interested in, definitely check the description box below for that timestamp. Let's go ahead and dive in. So each of these retails for 24 bucks, which is pretty in line with where Bite typically sits with their pricing. The shade that I am wearing today is called Orange Fizz, and it is described as a bright orange coral. Then there is a red shade called Sangria Slush. This is a bold true red, kind of your classic blue-based red, but is still very vibrant and bold. And then last up is this amazing pink shade called Strawberry Frosé. It's a hot, they, they call it a hot pink. It's like hot neon pink. It's one of the most vibrant pinks I've ever seen. And just in general, this whole collection is not going to be for the neutral nude lovers. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my neutrals and my nudes, but these are exclusively bright. So if you're looking for a neutral tone, a brown tone, you might need to go to their Amuse Bouche line because there are none to be found here. So this collection comes with some pretty tall claims just to read straight from the product page. It says it's supposed to be hydrating, long wearing, lightweight, easy to control and have waterproof wear. And I think for the most part, this formula does all of those things. Um, it's very similar to the Amuse Bouche formula. It's a little bit thinner, but it still has that very pigmented yet balmy finish to it. As you build it up, that balmy sheen is definitely going to grow with it and you're gonna get this super intense pigmentation but there is that thin component to the formula that really sinks into the lips, so much so that this is a majorly staining formula. I think that's probably where the long wear part to this whole thing comes into play because throughout eating and drinking or after eating and drinking throughout the day, I will find that you know the product is worn away mostly in the center of my lips, but it goes really strong towards the exterior and it's relatively budge proof and that I can take a finger or a brush or whatever and kind of smudge what's left left on the exterior of my lips, trying to blend it and smudge it in down. But for the most part, it stays pretty steadfast. I have to go in and reapply if like food has taken product away from the inner part of my lips. And then I think we'll be able to see as I'm taking off the lip product during the swatch process, you can see exactly how much these stain the lips. So even once that more opaque finish and that highly balmy finish is worn away, you're still gonna have some like highly stained lips after all is said and done. I think that balmy finish and texture is definitely what helps keep your lips comfortable throughout the day because of course this is at the end of the day a lip stain and so there could be some dehydration there but I didn't notice my lips feeling any more you know dry or dehydrated than they already were prior to applying these. The one thing I am not sure about is the waterproof claim here. So they're definitely not transfer proof. They don't dry down fully. Like I said they have that balmy finish so they're going to come off on your cups, your cans, as you're drinking, as you're eating throughout the day. And while you'll still obviously have a stain once all is said and done, you're going to see the product come off on whatever your lips happen to touch. So to that extent, you know, it's not drink proof in terms of being waterproof, but does, you know, liquid kind of bead off of it if you were to get in a pool or a beach? I guess so. I haven't I haven't tried it myself. I haven't like taken a shower in these guys to know yet and I probably won't just because that's that's not how I wear any of my lipsticks. But if you've tried it, let me know. Um, what I can't see is going into a pool or a beach or something like that and coming out without toweling off your face in which you will get transfer or just touching your face in any way, in which case, it's going to transfer on whatever you're touching your face with. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really matter if it's waterproof in that sense because it's only gonna come off on something else because it's not totally transfer proof. So still not sure about the waterproof claim. Let us know down below if you have experience with it, but I would really just bank on these being very vibrant, long lasting, nourishing lip stains. And in that sense, I do think they are really good at what they do, especially as I started looking for shade dupes and I found some that are very, very close. But what I realized as I was finding these is none of the formulas of the shade dupes I'm about to talk about come close in terms of lasting power and the same 
same amount of hydration in addition to lasting power. So while it might seem like you can get, you know, a long lasting, comfortable lipstick anytime, any price point, after looking at some of these, I think it actually might be harder than you think to get some that are this good. And in that way, it makes these unique and perhaps worth that price tag to you or worth checking out if that's what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and get into the shade dupes now. First, I guess since I'm wearing it, starting with Orange Fizz. So the shades that I found were the closest match. This is actually the only one that I found that had a kind of drugstore shade equivalent. But let's first start with the other two. First stop is the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Morning. This is the orangey red that she launched in her trio of lipsticks. Almost an identical shade match. However, this is obviously a very matte lipstick. So you're going to lack that balmy sheen. Still has a very nice lasting power to it, but wears away and doesn't stain the lips nearly as much as these from Bite Beauty. Then another similar shade is Hot Tamale from Becca. And this was part of a limited edition collection. So I'm not sure if it's available now, but still felt like I wanted to mention it just in case you did pick this up with the collection. Uh, you might have a duplicate shade on your hands in that case. Um, but like I said, the Becca still wears a lot longer than this or any of the lipsticks I'm about to mention. Um, the last pick for an Orange Fizz dupe is from the drugstore and it's 99 cents. Um, this is from the Wet n Wild. I always forget the name of this collection. I think it's the Satin Finish Collection and it's the shade Honolulu is Calling. I actually talked about this in my top seven orange lipsticks that I recently posted if you want to go check that out for even more orange lipstick or lip product recommendations for the summer. Um, but this shade comes super duper close and even gives you a very similar balmy sheen to it. However, the lasting power doesn't come anywhere near as close as the Bite Beauty does. And it's also not quite as hydrating as well. And as we move on to the next round of dupes, I do feel like it's important to mention that none of these smell as good as the Bite Beauty either. If you're not familiar with Bite Beauty, they are notorious for their food grade ingredients and every single one of their lip products like smells like something I could and would want to eat. So these have something similar to, you know, Bite Signature sugary, sweet sort of fruity scent to it. It's not overpowering. It doesn't smell super synthetic or obnoxious. It's just very subtle, but it's definitely there and it's super delicious. Now let's move on to the reds, the shades that are similar to Sangria Slush. And actually, I think I said I only had one drugstore dupe, but I actually have one in this shade too. So, and yet another Lisa Eldridge comparison as well. So once again, the shade Velvet Ribbon, this is another classic blue-based red, but again, this is going to be kind of the matte counterpart to the Bite Beauty, but still very, very similar in terms of shade. And then once again, from that same satin lipstick line from Wet n Wild comes the shade Cherry Frost, or 539A, and this has those same blue-based red qualities. This one's a little bit more sheer than the Bite Beauty, but still gives you that balmy finish. And again, just lasting power that's not quite on par with Bites. And last of our shades that are similar to Strawberry Frosé, and basically strike any comment I might've made about not having drugstore dupes. Apparently I found some in all of these shades and I just did not realize it when I picked them up. So first of all, Urban Decay, their shade Menace um, is once again a matte shade, but has that very vibrant violet or purple based pink. However, once again, it is that matte finish. Um, and then the drugstore one is once again a matte, but it is the shade 712 Matte Mandate from L'Oreal. And once again, another really similar one. This is a little bit softer though. Once again, not quite as vibrant. So far, I haven't found anything that is quite as bold and almost neon as Strawberry Frosé is, but these do come pretty close. You just might have to put like a little bit of a balm over top of them to get them to meet the same sort of balmy finish as the Bite Beauty one has. What do you think of these shades? shades, or I guess let me know what you think of the formula overall in the comments as well. Do you feel like you have a lot of these shades kind of already running around in your collection? Um, let me know. Otherwise, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys!